All right, Brave Nation, this next battle is three five-minute rounds in a catchweight bout of 59 kilograms. Introducing your first warrior. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man's a mixed martial artist with a professional record of three wins and no losses. He stands 166 centimeters tall and weighs already 58.5 kilograms. Representing SBG Rochdale, England. Give it up for Jamie Machine Gun Kelly. And introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man's a mixed martial artist with a professional record of two wins and no losses. He stands 172 centimeters tall and weighs already 59 kilograms. Representing and fighting out of Manchester, England by way of Dagestan and representing KHK MMA. Give it up for Mohammed. The Punisher, Mokayev! Your referee is Decky the Bandit Larkin. Phil, stylistically, I think this is a very easy fight to break down. Muhammad the Punisher, Mokayev, wants to either keep it on the outside or down on the mat. Jamie Machine Gun Kelly wants it the fight to be in a phone booth, a dog fight. We're about to find out who's fighter gets what they want. I'm just impressed that Mokayev could do the splits. I'd break something if I tried that. Mokayev starting off quick, trying to get a read on his man. Jimmy Kelly implementing a lot of lateral movement. Again, not being a static target. Flying knee attempted by Mokayev finishes with a nice right hand. Jimmy Kelly looks unfazed in there, trying to gauge the distance. Mokayev mixing it up nicely with hands and feet to keep Jimmy Kelly exactly where he wants him. Charging him against the cage and Mokayev, as we've seen, really is starting to open up with his hands, really is starting to show that he's not just a wrestler, as we've perhaps seen in some of his IMAF fights. Slips on the head kick, Jimmy Kelly unable to capitalize. Phil, right. I think Mokayev needs to settle down just a little bit. I think he needs to use his footwork a little bit more. I think he needs to choose his shots just a little bit more. All he's coming out just a little too frenzied. Already a little bit of blood on, I think that's over the eyebrow of Jimmy Kelly. I think he's been caught with something. Mokayev looking nice and loose in there. And on the double leg takedown, beautiful entry, but great work from Kelly to raise that level and try and create a little bit of dissonance and break as he does. Very impressive separation with a shot by the Punisher. He realized he wasn't gonna be able to get the takedown. He bypassed that clinch game, separated wisely, threw a shot on the break. Very, very smart fighting. Trying to land that leg kick. Mokayev replies with a beautiful chopping tie style leg kick and twice to the calf. Oh, lauding in with the overhand. Kelly showing that he's dangerous as well. Trying to uncork something over the top as Mokayev charges in. Phil, Mokayev is trying to establish total domination here. I think if you see his opponent, if you see Machine Gun land something, I think he's going to try and do the exact same thing back. Again, two. Nice pop job there from Mokayev, but both these guys fairly evenly matched. Two and oh versus three and oh. 20 years old Mokayev, 21 year old Jimmy Kelly. A battle of undefeated prospects, and you have to appreciate the confidence of Jimmy Kelly. He wanted this fight. He had the hands up. He wanted to go in and show what he was made of. Oh, he gets caught, but bounces right back up. Mokayev now charging, throws the flying knee, turning up the pressure, perhaps smelling a little bit of blood in the water. Nice kick to the body. Mokayev's hands are probably looking the best we've seen them, Kirik. They are. We've been saying this is going to be a future world champion, and, and you can see now why. Kicks are working beautifully. Punches are working beautifully. He's punching at angles. And coming in over the top, and I think Jamie Kelly needs to... It seems just as Mokayev is charging in, there's perhaps a little bit of deer in the headlights going on there. He stops just enough for Mokayev to get the shots off. He needs to be in constant movement, and he's threatening with that uppercut, almost anticipating. Mokayev coming in with the takedown. But just as he does that, Mokayev goes high, showing his diversity of strikes. Jimmy Kelly with the clinch. Decides and separated Phil, I love it. These fighters do not want to wrestle. They want to go mano a mano. Mok 
Okay, uh, throwing fence now to try and get a read. Throwing heavy, heavy kicks to the body. Switching stances, throwing fence. Mokayev seems to be growing in confidence as the fight progresses. Laser like focus in his eyes. Looks like he's just down a can of Brave Energy drink. Jamie Kelly getting marked up. Not able thus far to deal with the height disparity and the aggression disparity. Nice shot over the top from Mokayev. Lands more in the gloves, but it is throwing threat. That's a beautiful straight from Mokayev right down the pipe. Oh, and a huge crushing shot to the body. These are the kind of shots that do beautiful cumulative damage. He's threatening with the body, which could bring the defense of Jimmy Kelly down. But Kelly replies with a shot of his own. Some Sugar Ray Leonard-like theatrics followed by a spin kick. Kelly digs to the body himself, showing that he very much deserves and is very much validated in being the guy in there with Mokayev. Machine gun shaking his head, denying these are having any effect. And because of just how much we've seen Mokayev in the likes of the IMAFs, in the likes of the Brave Arena, you sometimes forget that he's only 20 years old and he hasn't even really scratched the surface of, of his potential. Phil, he's got a decade to get better, which blows my mind. Nice stiff job again from Mokayev. Yeah. Phil, easy 10-9 round. For Muhammad the Punisher Mokayev, the question is, if you were in Machine Gun's corner, what advice would you give him? I would say just continue with the perpetual movement. Try and catch Mokayev on the counter. It seems to be he's, he's being a little bit static and letting Mokayev get those uh, combinations off. It's almost as if he's unintentionally letting Mokayev finish those combinations. I want to see him disrupt the cadence, the flow, the movement of Mokayev with his own strikes. Green fully, as we can watch in this Green Hill replay. Staying on the outside and exchanging shots is not going Machine Gun's way. And if you're Mokayev, you're going to want to just keep doing what you're doing as his boxing's looking fantastic. Perhaps that's attributable to time that he also spent at the Amir Khan Academy working on his hands a little bit. Will he be able to adjust? In many fights, perhaps even most, the ability to adjust decides everything. Again, Kelly trying to open up with a, a couple of feints. Mokayev just has that right hand primed and ready. Ironically, he has that loaded in the chamber for Machine Gun Kelly. I'm liking Machine Gun moving forward with the feints. I'm liking it a lot, Phil. He's not letting his opponent dictate the distance between them. Again, checking the kick there this time, and a lovely front kick right up the middle from Mokayev, just shy of its target. Jimmy Kelly looks to be in the opening 30 seconds, just a little bit more offensively minded. That was almost like a flying knee into a push kick from Mokayev, showing that he also has an element of creativity. Spinning back fist. Mokayev again with the spinning back fist. I feel like I've got a controller in my hand. This kid's listening to me. Three seconds, two spinning back fists. Jimmy Kelly implementing a little bit better movement here, throwing feints, trying to implement the head movement, trying to roll in under and land his own strikes. Solid calf kick, much better round for Machine Gun. Lead hook from Mokayev and Machine Gun Kelly needs to live up to the moniker and throw more than just one shot. He needs to get more of a ratatata attack and the nose of Jimmy Kelly is thoroughly bloodied up, blood dripping from his face. Oh, that's a huge shot to the body from Mokayev. And a spinning elbow attack. But you have to give credit to the heart and resiliency of Jimmy Kelly. Phil, I think Mokayev's gonna poke that nose again, but he's trying to set it up by kicking the calf, kicking the body, throwing hooks. I think he's planning on coming straight down the middle. Again, another flying knee front kick from Mokayev. And again, at 20 years of age, he just looks so calm and refined in there. Technically, so clean. And this is a young man who's already said he wants to compete one more time before the end of the year. 
That's a nice takedown denied thus far by Jamie Kelly, but that vice-like grip of Mohamed Mokayev could turn this into a trip takedown. Jamie Kelly firing off his shots now, but his face, a crimson mask of blood. Midway point of the second round. Just at the moment, he's struggling to have an answer for the questions being asked of him by Mohamed Mokayev. Another spinning back fist attempt. And with every strike that Mokhaev lands, he seems to get just that little bit looser. Exactly that, Phil. First round. Oh, we've got a little break in the action. I, the doctor may be going to look at that nose, make sure it's not broken. A bloody nose, of course, doesn't matter. It's, 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 it's for just surface damage. But if it's broken badly enough, the blood can go back into the lungs, and that cannot be allowed. And I think it might actually be more the cut in and around the eye of Jimmy Kelly that referee Dickie Larkin is calling for a look at. Of course, a cut over the eye could impede the, uh, the sight, could impede just how well Jimmy Kelly can see. Exactly. Brave Nation, a small cut in the, in the wrong place. The fight has to get stopped. A large cut in a different spot. It could be half an inch away, and the fight can go on. Jimmy Kelly gives the, the doctor the sign to say, yes, I'm more than happy to go on. This is, a, this is a young man who you need to physically stop, who you need to physically separate from his senses, a limb you need to break to stop him in the fight. If Arturo Chavez was the embodiment of Mexico. Oh, good shot there from we Jimmy go. Kelly. I, I think that stoppage fired up machine gun. As I say, this is a young man with incredible heart resiliency. But again, that pop jab from Mokayev, so smart, targeting the already damaged nose of Jimmy Kelly. Looks like he was trying to set up a spin there, turning ever so slightly to the side. Keep an eye out for another spinning back fist or a spinning attack. Oh, oh. beautiful shots there being landed by Mokayev. Coming forward, there's the uppercut. Again, the accumulation of damage being garnered here by Mohamed Mokayev is pretty much akin to artistry, Kirik. It is, so is that attack. The side-to-side -side motion of the head as the Punisher moved forward is very, very hard to pull off, and it means you can attack your opponent and not get countered. It's high, high-level mixed martial arts for a 20-year-old in his third fight, almost unheard of. Mokayev just happy and again showing his patience as a young fighter. Lesser fighters may tend to try and rush in but he's landing his shots, he's accumulating damage. He knows that he's up in the scorecards, isn't doing anything rash. Exactly Phil, I was very impressed with both fighters as they adjusted just a little bit. Punisher calmed down a little bit, Machine Gun did the exact opposite. He's a little bit more fired up, that's what both of them need to be at their best. Jimmy Kelly still very much in the fight, still very much throwing everything he has. But if you look at the face of either man, it very much tells the story of the fight thus far. Mokayev largely unblemished. Young Jimmy Kelly very much carrying. Got our first takedown. Phil, this is going to be a huge moment. If Jamie Machine Gun Kelly can get off the floor, it's, it's huge. If he gets stuck here, it's bad. Mokayev keeping his base nice and low. Switching to the scarf position and back again to immobilize the arm of Jimmy Kelly. So again, he can't dig in for that underhook underneath Mokayev. And the round ends. Not enough time to find out who is going to dominate on that. <coughs> who is going to dominate the ground experience, either via an escape or via pressure from top. Greenhill replay. Take us through, Phil. There you see Mokayev again. Kelly, much to his credit, trying to land. Jimmy Kelly, much to his credit, just eats. The spinning back fist eats the shot to the body, eats the spinning elbow. He doesn't like the food at the hotel because he is hungrily eating these shots. The MMA pizza with some exotic toppings. Yeah, Jamie Kelly just showing how tough and durable he is. And that's not, I'm not trying to detract from the quality of mock I have. I'm just saying that it's impressive the shots that Jimmy Kelly has been willing to take in this punch. Of course, those shots thrown by Mohamed Makayev showing just how well-rounded and impressive he is. As in the last fight, Phil, we both believe this is a 2018 fight right now. Jamie Kelly has to win this fight by a stoppage in order to win.
you know, at, at this stage of the fight, you, you really can't ask for a lot more from Jimmy Kelly. He's moving forward. He's trying to land those strikes. A show of, show of respect from both these men. Referee Deke Larkin just calling for a towel to, to clear up a little bit of moisture that was accrued on the cage. Of course, you don't want to see the fighters slipping. Here we have it, Deke Larkin, man in the middle again. Third and final round. Both these men have fought absolutely fantastic fights, but for very different reasons. Machine Gun Kelly stalking, moving his head, fainting with the hands, fainting with the hips, trying to land something big. There was the beginning of it. And if you're in the corner of Jimmy Kelly, if you're Martin Stapleton right now, you're going to say to Jimmy Kelly, just go in and throw everything you have. Try and get the job done. Throw the kitchen sink. Maybe try and work off the counters. Big uppercut landed there by Mokaev. Huge respect to Jamie Machine Gun Kelly. He is still in this fight 100%, despite having taken a large number of shots. Jimmy Kelly right now trying to be as proactive as possible as opposed to being reactive and he's putting the pressure on Mark have a little bit right now. Switching stances, trying to get in and that's a nice heavy leg kick landed by Jimmy Kelly. Mark Ayev goes up top with a big shot. And dare I say it, perhaps a little bit of frustration might be creeping in on the side of Mark Ayev because he hasn't been able to put his opponent away. He has, Phil. <clears throat> he, was, he was not setting up every shot. He was loading up every shot, throwing his biggest shot. Some of them did land. It has to be a little bit frustrating. It didn't work, and that may be why we're seeing the attempts to get the fight down to the ground. Malkayev with a beautiful entry into the single. Steps over and trips beautiful the leg. Beautiful finish. That is fantastic mixed martial arts wrestling by young Mohamed Malkayev. Right now, he's just lacing up the legs. Opponent's leg is now shelved. Shades of another famous Dajestan fighter with his groundwork here. And right now he's just solidifying the position. Has the hands clasped around Jimmy Kelly. Looks like he's trying to take the back here. Can he get the hooks in? One hook goes for that reverse half guard position. Can he get the rear naked Shows choke? In tight. He's gone palm to it's palm. Close. He's gone it's arm close. to bicep. This looks incredibly over. tight. Fighter this, is fading to black. Could this be the first win by submission over, in the career of Mohamed Makayev? And there's a tower. Mohamed Mokayev with the first it. win by a submission first in his mixed martial arts career. Jimmy Kelly earns the respect of absolutely everyone here at Brave Combat Federation. But the sky is clearly the limit for Mohamed the Punisher Mokayev. Mohamed Mokayev lifting his opponent's arms and calling for cheers for him. That is sportsmanship. That is Brave Combat. Federation. Here you see the vice-like grip of Mohamed Mokayev, the reverse half guard position, holding his opponent in place, expertly switching from the palm to palm to the bicep grip, getting the finish on it, doing so the first submission win of his professional mixed martial arts career. Got his back taken. The pressure at this point leaves no choice but to tap out. There you see the submission again. Goes to the bicep grip, slips the other hand beneath, underneath the head of Jamie Kelly, making it impossible to defend because as we know with the rear naked choke, now rear naked choke, you're trying to pull the, the top hand down, but a beautiful finish. Carlos Kramer, make it official. All right, Brave Nation, what an incredible battle we had. This fight comes to an end by tap out by rear naked choke of two minutes, 11 seconds in the very third round. Your winner out of the red corner, Mohammed the Punisher, Bakaya! There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the official decision, Mohammed Mokayev with the third round rear naked choke showing respect to Jamie Kelly who was as tough 
and as durable as any fighter I've ever seen. But when it came down to it, Kerik, there's levels to mixed martial arts, and Mohamed Mokhaev just appeared to be that little level ever so slightly above Jimmy Kelly. Phil, there are indeed levels to this. We've been saying for a while now, Mohamed the Punisher, Mokhaev, is going to be brave champion of the world. And Phil, he's only 20 years old. I don't want to go and make any kind of huge claims right now, but you are looking at a very special athlete. His development will make it perhaps keep us all very interested. Phil has now left the desk to conduct a virtual post-fight interview with the Punisher. It does take a couple of seconds to set up while that's happening. We're gonna watch some of the action that unfolded just minutes ago. There was Machine Gun countering, and now the Punisher is in tight, raises his opponent up, and sends him down. Air Great Britain landing on Runway Brave. Beautiful, turning the corner into a shelf on that leg, and there was your finish. People ask me, how do you escape from this position? The answer is, you don't. There is no escape. The hooks are in all the way. The chink, the choke is sunk. There is nothing left to do but nap or tap. And tap is what we saw in an interview, is what we're about to see now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm joined by a victorious Mohamed Mokayev, who's just got his first win in his professional career by submission. How does that feel, young man? Uh, thank you so much. I f it feels amazing beating unbeaten guy who is like three wins or first round stoppages with like knockouts and it's a beautiful uh, uh, first time professional fighting in Bahrain. I uh, already had here about nine amateur fights but mm -hmm. I feel like this is my second home. That was the best your striking has looked. Your pure boxing looked fantastic. You caught him with a, an early one-two that dropped him. Is the boxing something that you've been trying to focus on at the moment? Yes, yeah, boxing. I uh, don't forget my wrestling, Jiu Jitsu. I do boxing, kickboxing. Of course, mm -hmm. fans want to see finish. I want to show good performance and then finish. Were you surprised at just how tough and durable Jamie Kelly was? Because you hit him with everything. You hit him with knees, spinning back fists. You caught him a spinning elbow, but he still stood there in front of you. Wow. Were you getting a little bit frustrated thinking, what do I need to do to get rid of this guy? No, no. I, I knew uh, somehow the guys gave up, but I respect this guy a lot. You know, uh, we're from, we live in the same city mm -hmm. and we have like a same fan base. And I respect this guy. I never talk bad about him and he never did see how beautiful this fight is uh, compared to like my debut. If guys show me respect, I show them twice more respect. Now you're three and oh as a professional mixed martial artist, including your amateur career, you're riding a 26 fight win streak. I heard a rumor that you want to compete one more time before the end of the year. Is that true? Yes, November, December, Muhammad Shahid, please, I'm ready. Like I said, I was ready for uh, Brave Poland, but it's canceled. But I'm here two weeks before the tournament. I would like to thank, you know, Sheikh Khalid, all Team KHK, Muhammad Shahid, all guys behind the Brave did those am amazing job. It's not easy sorting like tickets out, accommodation, and take care about everybody and, and the hotels. Wow, this guy's doing amazing job. Well, Mohamed, you're, you're definitely a young man that we're going to see a lot more of. I can't wait to see what you do next. I want to be there calling the fight. Congratulations on a fantastic yes. fight. Go I'll, ahead, sir. Go I ahead. I want to thank my coach, Oleg, Johnny, Hickman Brothers, Dean Garnett, uh, Eldar, head coach of Team KHK, uh, Woody, Terry Bridge, you know, everybody, Twins, Jesse Narf, Amir, uh, Aunt Middleton. Everybody, you know, I have like very strong team. Uh, paradigm management hey i have number one team in the world and uh, i have real people behind me not fake so I if there's no old team my team you can go go outdoor different door there you, that's there, you, it. there you have it ladies and gentlemen Woo! the number one prospect in mixed martial arts right now and your winner mohammed the punisher mokayev <laughs>